team coverage continues now on Live at 5.30. Aaron Cox speaks to clergy and church members in Utah's religious communities about how the pandemic is affecting their work. But first, the Utah legislature is meeting for a second special session this year. Fox 13's Ben Winslow shows us how businesses may be affected by today's decision. Ben. Yeah, lawmakers ended one special session this morning. They're right back into another one right now to deal with the coronavirus pandemic. The House Speaker and Senate President once again presided over empty chambers at the Capitol. Lawmakers were socially distant, appearing online over a video conference. They're taking up budget bills as they push for economic recovery and the reopening of businesses. They won't get immunity from these types of claims. One of the most controversial bills deals with giving businesses immunity from lawsuits if someone is exposed to COVID-19. One concern is, will the businesses then you know, just skirt their duty of care altogether. And I don't think that's the case. I think the free market's going to work itself out. That patrons and employees are not going to want to work or participate in businesses that are not demonstrating an act of care for their employees and their patrons and maintaining cleanliness. And but some say it goes too far and could open the door for business to be negligent with such a deadly virus. Well, it could be at a restaurant. It could be at a business like we talked about Walmart, or it could be at a school event or a concert or a rally. The bill passed the Senate. There's retailers, uh, grocery stores that are supporting this. The House also struggled with the bill. I worry about the message of this bill that maybe what we're in doing is endorsing negligence. We have to recognize the, 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 the key role of personal responsibility and agency in these constitutional rights of freedom and liberty. And so I, of course, stand in support of this piece of legislation. It passed there, too. Lawmakers struck a deal with Governor Gary Herbert over another bill that requires him to give them notice when he declares a state of emergency. They wanted 48 hours. As part of the deal, he gives them 24. The governor would like to veto this bill, if not 24 hours. And um, I'm not afraid of a veto. I don't think I'm afraid of a veto over it. Mm -hmm. the, under the conditions in which we're in, it's important to realize that 24 hours is better than five minutes. Now, the legislature is still going with bills dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, the Senate is meeting right now. Just a short time ago, the House passed a $1.4 billion appropriations bill that covers a number of things. A state lawmaker did seek to block the purchase of stockpiles of medications like hydroxychloroquine, but that was overruled and that bill now before the Senate. Live on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.